Okay, the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to calculate um, or estimate costs by using the high-low method of activity. So what we want to do is look at this data that we have here on your right, which lists monthly costs in a hospital setting and the number of days a patient stays overnight based upon those costs. Okay, so what we want to do is to first figure out what's the high level of activity, which is April, and the low level of activity, which is September. And we also want to know the associated maintenance costs. Now, in this case, the costs are the highest for April and the lowest for September. And this is not always the case, but we always want to go by the high level of activity and the low level, level of activity. So what we want to do is figure out the cost per activity. And it, in this case, it's just the, t the high level of cost minus the low level of cost divided by the high level of activity minus the low level of activity. And we need to put these in parentheses. So what this means is that every time a patient stays overnight, there's an associated maintenance cost of $8.11, okay? And that will be considered our variable cost because it goes up as the number of patient days goes up. So what we want to figure out next is what our associated fixed costs are, okay? And so we can take either the high level or low level of activity, but we want to take the total cost, okay? And we want to subtract out the variable cost. And my variable cost is the number of patient days times $8.11, i.e. the cost per activity. So my variable cost is $39,700 and my fixed cost is the total cost minus the variable cost. Okay, so my fixed cost is approximately $7,270. Alternatively, I can also use the low level, level of activity to get the same amount. So again, if I take the patient days times the cost per activity, I get $9,729 and my fixed cost should remain the same. So the final piece of this is to figure out our cost equation, our total cost equation. Okay, and that is just my fixed cost plus eight dollars and eleven cents times the number of patient days okay and so that would give us an estimation of the associated costs with the number of patients to stay overnight in a particular month. And the last piece of this, we can also graph this just to see what it looks like. So if we highlight these two, go to insert, and we want a chart, and we can click on the scatter, and I'll just pick the top one here. This will automatically graph this out for us to give us an example of what it looks like. So we have the cost, uh, excuse me, the patient days at the bottom, and the, on the x-axis and the 
patient days, excuse me, the total cost on the Y axis. And then you can format this any way you want. So this, uh, in conclusion, just gives you an overview of how to calculate the total cost equation. Okay, and again, that's just the fixed cost plus the variable cost per activity times that particular activity. In this case, it's patient days.